September 11th. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8, 1. How strong the consolation flowing from this truth to the believer in Jesus. No condemnation is the ground of all comfort to the suffering Christian. What a mighty breakwater in this condition to the rolling surge of sorrow, which else might flow in upon and immerse the soul. Let it be your aim to improve it on every occasion of suffering and trial. God may afflict, but he will never condemn you. Chastisements are not judgments. Afflictions are not condemnations. Sickness, bereavement, and low estate based upon a condition of non-condemnation. You can welcome and patiently bear since they are not the forecastings of a coming storm, but the distillings of a mercy cloud sailing athwart the azure sky of a soul in Christ. The fiery trials which purify our faith have not a spark in them of that unquenchable fire that will consume the uncondemned thereafter. Oh, what are crosses and discomforts of this present world, if at last we are kept out of hell? And oh, what are the riches and honors and comforts of this life, if at last we are shut out of heaven? At the bottom of that cup of sinful pleasure, which sparkles in the worldling's hand, and which with such zest and glee he quaffs, there lies eternal condemnation, the death worm feeds at the root of all his good. But at the bottom of this cup of sorrow, now trembling and dark in the hand of the suffering Christian, bitter and forbidding as it is, there is no condemnation. Eternal glory is at the root of all his evil. And in this will you not rejoice? It is not only your holy duty, but is your high privilege to rejoice. Your whole life not only may be, but ought to be, a sweetly tuned psalm, a continual anthem of thanksgiving and praise, pouring forth its swelling notes to the God of your salvation, since beyond the cloudy scene of your present pilgrimage there unveils the light and bliss of celestial glory on whose portal you read as you pass within. No condemnation. Unless, then, you either distrust or disparage this, your joyous condition and blessed hope, you must, in the gloomiest hour, and from the innermost depths of your soul, exudantly exclaim, He is near that justifies me. Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is mine adversary? Let him come near to me. Behold, the Lord God will help me. Who is he that shall? condemn me.